I'll even move the capybaras in with them. Capybaras, even though they are in fact the world's largest rodent, are still relatively tiny on the grand scheme of, say, I don't know, an elephant or a jaguar. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Planet Zoo, where we're gonna try and fix things. Many things. Many, many things. I feel my zoo is on the precipice of disaster, but the good news is I'm not traveling from the future on this video, so as of me recording this, I have had time to catch up on all of the comments, and do please keep those comments coming in. There's so many things, tiny little things that I don't think of that you guys think of. Um, now, a not-so-tiny thing that you guys thought of that I actually knew and then just completely spaced out about? Water. Our water is gross. Yeah, I got all these big ponds and little lakes and things like that. All sorts of fun places for the animals to swim in and, I don't know, potentially drink from. And um, they're disease cesspools. There's no water treatment in this zoo at all. These are just ponds of static water sitting there infesting themselves with, I can only imagine what, pond scum, mosquitoes, animal business. It's just, it's got to be disgusting in there. And I would say over half of the comments that came in on the last video was, my God, man, water treatment. Why are you not treating the water? Well, one of the reasons for that is I can't afford it. So a water treatment facility here, I have no ability to afford that. I've got 1100 bucks. I've got 1100 bucks. I would love to slap this down. That'd be fantastic. In fact, if I could put that right here, that would cover both of the exhibits. Now, the guests are going to hate it. They hate seeing these sort of non-zoo animal facilities here. But we can fidget with that. I think the more important part is that we actually start to clean up some of our water here. But that is completely irrelevant because I can't afford that. I'm going to tentatively turn things on. Here's my plan. I have a plan. It's a terrible plan, but it's my plan. I am going to tentatively turn things on and see if I can put that money together. And if it doesn't look like that's happening in the short term, we may have to go the loan route. The other thing I'm thinking about, this again came up in comments, do please keep those comments coming in, uh, about tortoises. Now we've learned many fun facts about tortoises. We know they are besties with the capybaras. They love the capybaras. We're going to come back to the capybaras later because I've had some experience with capybaras on my own time. Not in the real world. I've never actually like met a capybara. I've seen one at the zoo, like at a real zoo, the Berlin Zoo, if you're curious. I've seen a capybara at the Berlin Zoo. They're very boring. They just sort of sit there and sleep. I mean, they're the world's largest rodent. What do you really expect them to do? Hey, you took away the thing. You, you took away their frozen popsicle treat. Are you, are you supposed to be doing that? Is that, uh, you're doing a thing, that's good. You're cleaning up, which is good. That's going to help with our disease thing as well. Um, the tortoises are about to mate. There's no staff room. What's going on here? What is terrible? Oh, this is not terrible. We've actually finished researching something. What did we research? We're going to come back to tortoises and capybaras. Souvenir shops, fantastic. That's actually good. I, I'm, I'm pleased about that one. Um, now, who's doing that? Uh, that is, oh, we're done. Oh, we're just done. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know I said we we're going to tentatively turn the game on. Slam it back into pause mode. Uh, Mohammed, I would love for you to, well, not research that because we're done with that. How about we researched either habitats or barriers? We're very limited in how many barriers or what variety of barriers we can put up. Why don't you do a little research on barriers? Okay, an important alert. What's the problem here? Yes, um, animal welfare has attracted many, many, many protesters. What's your problem? Okay, you don't like your terrain, there's not enough hard shelter, your social abilities are not met, you're, you're just... I'm so sorry I brought you in here. So here's a fun fact about tortoises that uh, somebody brought up in comments. Now, this was a surprise to me. Tortoises are very slow. Very slow. Extremely slow. They don't move very quickly. Now, I, of course, have heard the fable of the tortoise and the hare, and you know, we've used the word tortoise to symbolize moving slowly, and turtle for that matter. But as we've learned before, tortoise, tortoises are not turtles, turtles are not tortoises. But we use the term turtle and tortoise frequently to describe something that is slow, along with sloth. I mean, of your animal variety, sloth and tortoise, that's what, that's what you're going to use to describe something that's slow. So tortoises, as it was brought up in the comments, very, very slow moving creatures. And I have them in a gigantic environment. 
Do you know how many in-game years it could take a tortoise to walk from one end of this enclosure to the other? So what came up in comments is, um, here's the thing, Dave, Dave, the tortoises might quite literally starve to death trying to walk to the food bowl because it's like years away in their world. So we may look at, if I can put all this together, I know I've got, I've got big dreams here, big dreams. I'd like to clean up our water and I'd like to think about moving the tortoises to a much smaller environment and then repurpose this as something else. Now, again, comments, comments, comments. They, uh, they'd said possibly one of the issues with your habitat is the long grass. I guess a lot of animals don't like long grass. So something I can do relatively inexpensively is repaint this as short grass. That costs me nothing at all. To be, that is costing me nothing at all, right? Okay, keep an eye on your money, man. Um, that that's just is costing me nothing at all, and this could maybe help them. If nothing else, it'll probably help them move faster. Okay, get all rid of all of that. Let's. What? What is your problem? Can't find an accessible staff room. Well, good news, chief. I don't have the money to put up one. Maybe you take care of the animals. Maybe we don't have as many protesters. Maybe people chip a few more dollars in the old donation box there. Maybe I can get you a staff room. Think possibly we might want to clean up the water issue first. Now, speaking of those donation boxes, I don't have one over here, but this doesn't like accumulate a lot of people. There's actually, it's not that interesting from this direction. If What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you're doing like the inspection thing. Okay, good for you. Uh, they aren't hungry, thank God. Uh, time to clean up Habitat 1. I think we just did that. Yeah, the, the oh, actually, this looks much cleaner already. This looks much cleaner. So you guys are eating your thing down here, your little pack of rotten vegetables, probably, knowing my zoo. Uh, the inspector's arriving. Well, that's a terrible thing. Yeah, this does look completely disgusting. Completely disgusting. I'm almost up to enough money to do this. I'm going to slam it into pause mode one more time. So I'm running a side game of Planet Zoo on my own time, uh, just because it's a ton of fun to play. I, I'm just having a ton of fun playing it, and I can kind of poke at things that I've done during recording and go, hmm, how could I tweak that? How could I do that a little bit better? And in that side game, I am making money hand over fist. I am making money faster than I can possibly spend it. It's a little obscene. So coming back into here, oh, 2200 and having no money is a little bit fussy, but let's see if we can make, again, just some small changes. That's what we're looking for here. Some small changes. Now that water treatment thing, that is going to need, well, it doesn't, I don't think it needs a staff path, but I've got to assume there's some sort of maintenance on those. So I'm going to put this up just sort of tentatively right now. And thank you once again to comments. Again, please keep those comments coming in. Um, I was reminded that instead of deleting things, uh, if I did things like, and I just want to immediately get rid of them, better do the undo button because I'll get full reimbursement for that rather than partial reimbursement. So I'm just going to slap this down. And if it, it's not what I want, then we can undo it. But I've got to assume that there's a maintenance cost for this, or at least, oh, there's a maintenance cost, that I knew, 100, but it needs maintenance. Like it's going, yeah, call mechanic. So it's not like I can just shove this in a sealed room and then pretty it up. No, they, they do have to have access to this. Uh, undo that just for right now. Okay, I got my full value back there. Uh, let's get those uh, water treat, hang on, hang on, read the thing, Dave. A water treatment facility will clean any body of water within its radius, even, ah, this is good, even if partly outside its radius. Okay, so it's just got to peek in. It's just got to scrape the surface of that thing. Okay, cleanliness of water also affects guest visibility. So they're not impressed by seeing water treatment facilities and being near them will make them unhappy. They might have to learn to live with some of those things. Okay, so go back to this. What's my radius here? And can I get research later for, like, more radius? Now, see, if it's just got to peek in, I could put this thing way out here, way out here, and that could cover more enclosures. So right off the bat, I can, at least in the short term, the, the visitors will not be, like, totally bummed out by that. And in the long term, I can put more enclosures around this, and it will still cover it. Now, I got to get some kind of path there. So let's do uh, let's do the staff path for right now. Hopefully I did not put that on the right side. 
Okay, hang on, let me rotate that. Okay, so staff path going to that. Can I see your radius on how much you bum people out? I know there's no scenery, reduced negative, I know there's none of that. Your negative area is 49 feet. Can I see that if I click on you? Not as such. Not as such. Okay. I'll kind of cross that bridge when I come to it. Now, we do want to pretty that up a little bit more. But for right now, we've at least dealt with the water issues. Now, does this get automatically cleaned? Or is that like a time factor? Because this is disgusting. And can I tell? Can I see here now? 23% cleanliness. Okay. Oh, hang on. Does this have power? Oh, I got to think about that too. I bet that needs power. It's got how, what, I don't know what the radius is on my main building there. What's your problem? I'm low on cash. Yeah, no shock there, Sparky. Oh, I can get a quick thousand for having four, however many guests I did. Whatever I did, I did it. 2,500 for having no crime. Yep, thank you very much for that. Okay, there's some cash. That worked out well. Why don't I just put up? Again, is this being cleaned? I bet this is not in power range. I don't know. It's go actually going down. It's actually going down. This is not in range of the power, is it? Can I tell? Can I see? I'm not powered. Yeah, it literally says it right up there, Dave. It's not powered. It says it right in front of your face. Okay, fine. Um, why don't we put up, well, a thing, seeing as I just got a whole bunch of money for doing things that I was doing anyway. So one generator, they're not even that expensive. Now, where is your kind of staff path area here? Hang on, come come here, come down here and show me things. Where is your, there it is, your connection's that way. Uh, the way the arrow is, Dave, that's, that's usually the way these things go. So can I get you to live like right there? Okay, and then, oh, that's, that's kind of wonky, isn't it? Oh, that did, that's no good. That's no good at all. Let's try that again. Uh, could you actually move? Uh, no, now you're snapping to a grid. Hang on. There's too many things to click and unclick here. Okay, that'll work for right now. So power and water and... No, 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 stop stop editing things. I'm done with that. We'll come back to that later, depending on how bummed out the guests are about this. Uh, you are operational. Okay, operational. Thank you. Water, looking way cleaner now. There we go. 100%. Oh, look, the capybaras are on the bridge. Oh, hang on. Let's stop, 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 stop. The capybara is on the bridge. I knew I built that bridge for a reason. Look, they're doing little dives off of the bridge. I put that bridge there for a reason, and it works like a champ. Hey, you know what? While I'm actually looking directly at capybaras, here's the other issue I ran into in my side game. Now, this didn't exactly... Well, a couple of comments had mentioned this, but, but you guys didn't go as nuts about it as you did about the water treatment. Justifiably so, I might add. Um, my, my, my issue with capybaras is, uh, much like any rodent, they, these guys breed like rodents. So my side game zoo is swimming in capybaras. They're everywhere. I have like a zillion capybaras. So what I think is preemptively, we're going to maybe look at not having all of these guys breed. So, okay, tortoises. Yep, sure. Show me the capybaras, actually. All right, so capybaras. I have one female and three male. Oh, that's fine then. Okay, I thought I had more females than that. Okay, for right now, this is fine. I can, I'm okay if we acquire a few more capybaras. I just don't want a zillion capybaras. And your problem is available food. Okay, all of a sudden, I've got 6K, thanks to largely those little mini quests that I, that I just did. The water is looking cleaner. Okay, I was thinking I was going to have to come in today and immediately jump on a loan. But 6K, it, this is a silly place for a donation box. What are you looking at there? What do you, what do you, I would not donate anything to look at this little hill. All right, 6K. What can I do with 6K? And my immediate thought is actually probably hiring more people. Hiring more people to keep all of these animals like clean and fed and watered and whatnot. So more keepers. Before I do that, I want to look at research. Uh, not the mechanic. I know what he's doing. The vet research. So we are... What exactly is it? I'm, I'm sorry. Are we not researching anything? That's possible. I might have told all the vets to do other things. So this came up in comments, as does everything else. Again, I, I can't stress enough. Please keep those comments coming in. Uh, apparently, when you hire a vet... They have no formal veterinary training. 
They don't know any of this. They don't know how to deal with any of these things at all. So I guess they're like, I don't know, day one vet med school folk. And they just got a job at the zoo hoping for the best, hoping they'd get their education as they go. I guess they're interns, really, more than anything. But yet I'm paying them an obscene, obscene amount of money. So uh, we got to research all of this stuff. All of this stuff needs to get researched. What I, But I also need them to be doing things like researching fun things for raccoons and skunks and capybaras. We've done a lot on the tortoise. Well, this one anyway. We actually haven't done anything on the Galapagos tortoise. We've done nothing with anything else. Okay, here's my plan. Here's It's, it's my short-term plan. We're going to hire, show me staff, we're going to hire one more keeper, just because I think this is just like super crazy important, and then one more vet. And then I'm also going to start some training on these people. So, yeah, send for training. Periodically train up staff to maximum level, and they'll do better. So, yes, of course do that. Uh, you can't train. Okay, so you've been trained recently. I can't do that for a while. You can be. You can be. Now, they're obviously, they're probably going to want more money for this kind of nonsense. But I'm willing to cope with that if they're going to be better at their jobs. Also, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have another educator. That was a quick one that came up in comments because um, the guests are dumb as a bag of rocks. I was advised, you know, work zones, work zones, work zones. Make people, make sure people are going to work zones. Um, we'll we'll kind of, we'll kind of come to that. Not in their ideal temperature range. No, I'm sure they're not. It's snowing. I'm sure they're not in their ideal temperature range. Well, you know what? You were, I'm sorry, slam it into pause mode again. You guys were whining about hard shelter anyway. I could maybe, oh, what, what, it, who has a disease now? A beaver. Okay, somebody go deal with the diseased beaver, please. Vet urgently assigned. Yes, it is urgently assigned. All right, so somebody, somebody's on the case there. It's probably my new intern. What do I actually have for hard shelter? Not much is the answer to that. I mean, it says hard shelter, sure, but it's kind of wide open. It's not, it's not going to do you much against snow. Like, show me this. Just show it to me. I don't, I don't want to put this down right now. I mean, I could... I could enclose that a little bit more. That's going to be testing the limits of my ability with the construction tools. Could think about that. I could put up the penguin one. I could put up the penguin one for them. What is this? Aquatic habitat. Oh, that sounds good. I don't even know where I got... Wait, that's whole, one whole aquatic habitat. Oh, that's the whole shebang. That's everything. That is wicked cool. I almost, I know, I know this sounds optimistic of me. I'd almost rather try and design that myself. But what I might do, I don't have the money for this, is put that up and use that as kind of an idea springboard for designing my own. Because I've been trying to poke at that in my own time with no success whatsoever. Hmm. Okay. Remember that exists. What if I just built you something? What if I just built my own thing for you? Like a, a hard shelter kind of thing. I don't know how this is going to go, but let's give it a shot. So this, this is going to be your hard shelter, all right? Hopefully with a way that it can actually be enclosed. Now, of course, I've just been saying I might move all the turtles. So do I want to do that now? Could I do that with 5K? I mean, I can if I make a much smaller environment. Huh. This was not my plan. My plan was kind of do tiny, tiny little things. But also part of my plan is, again, the tortoises might in fact starve to death just trying to get to their food bowl. So a much smaller enclosure. Than them. I'll even move the capybaras in with them. Capybaras, even though they are in fact the world's largest rodent, are still relatively tiny on the grand scheme of, say, I don't know, an elephant or a jaguar. They're still pretty small. Okay, we're doing a new environment. Now, this is going to probably be a little bit of a mixed bag, because if I put it over here, people are going to be bummed out coming by here that there's all these staff buildings, and I just don't have the money or time, really, to be working with all those. I kind of wanted to pick at those a little bit, try and make them prettier, put up a bunch of, I don't know, trees and stuff in the way. So how about we start? It doesn't have to be a very tall barrier, because they're not going to climb anything. But, I don't know, I just feel like making it slightly taller. There we go. Uh, just in case there's some sort of super tortoise in there, this can be 
And there we go, an eight-foot barrier. That's got to be plenty, plenty for them. And put it on the uh, the curved wall thing. So let's bring this, again, think, Dave, think smaller this time. Okay? Let's not have this be a mammoth gargantuan enclosure for an animal that doesn't move. All right, bring that in like this. Make sure it's nice and close to the path so all the guests can see it. Come on, can you just swing in there? So it swing. No, 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 no. Okay, do that and then I'll fix you. Okay, get rid of that little wonky bit at the back there. Okay, that will broadly work. Um, there should probably be some degree of privacy for these animals, I guess. And nobody's going to see anything over here for right now. I can always go back in later and fidget with that. So put up these nice red bricks and then I got to put somewhere for a door. Hmm. If I put this as the red brick, can I get in my gate here? Yeah, it'll still work. Okay, good. It's close enough there. Um, actually, can I... Oh, I can do it on glass. I know... I, I, I feel like I tried that before and it didn't work, but obviously I was doing something critically wrong. Nobody, nobody will be surprised by that. We'll put that back to glass then, because at some point this path will wrap around here. And people can, you know, look at things. Actually, put the door on that side anyway. It just kind of makes sense. Because I want to have maximum ability for people to stand here and look at things. Okay, where's my money? 4,000. Okay, I can do something with 4,000. Well, let's, let's start with the easy one. They don't want long grass. They don't got long grass. Okay, they can have all the short grass that they want. It'll increase their movement speed. It'll be a bit of a buff for the tortoise. All right. Now, let's look at that hard space, hard cover thing that we're doing here. I could, I mean, I could certainly try and make my own. Um, none of these are hideously expensive. Show me this one. Should I spin that? Show me, show me what I'm looking at here. It's, boy, it's a big old thing, isn't it? It's a big thing. I'd rather not dominate the thing with this. I don't, if I build my own, if I just go back to construction and we just do, you know, something along these lines, does that count? I mean, I suppose it does if I put bedding in there. That's, I mean, they're going to go to bedding no matter what's in it or around it. So if I said to you, tortoises, if I said to you this and then another one, it's going to look weird. Oh, well, looking weird is kind of half of my channel. That and harassing chickens. And then if I slap, like, a door thing in here, because my goal is to also get a heater in here, too. Uh, show me floors. I mean, while we're here, show me floors. Uh, what, what could you show me here? A plastic roof. Show me a plastic roof. Show me a plastic roof. What does that look like? Uh, no, make, make, the thing go, make the thing go up. Yeah, there we go. Show me this. Uh, do I like that? I kind of do. I don't hate that at all. Huh. I didn't actually plan for this to be like a decorating building kind of episode, but we're getting into something here. Now, 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 now. Do you have, make that go away, do you have a triangly bit that isn't going to make me bang my head against a wall? Now, there is if I actually look under walls instead of roofs, because that technically is a wall, even though I'm kind of pretending it's a roof. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there. Oh, I actually like that one in the middle. That's kind of cool. Put that there. It's, it looks structurally sound. I like that. Um, now I just need one that's going to go like here. And I will have actually made a vague concept of a building that makes some degree... Look, nobody is more surprised by me than what's happening right now. I don't know what to tell you. This will probably not get repeated. This bit is probably not going to come out perfect because I'm doing it manually because I can't figure out what thing to click or unclick. So I'm just doing this one by hand. It's not snapping, but it's not, it's not terrible. I know this has nothing to do with anything that we were doing today, but I'm kind of, kind of just doing a thing here. Just bear with me. Okay. Okay. Make, make all of this go away. Actually don't because I'd actually, you know what? Here, here's what I'm going to say about tortoises. They probably can't open a door. So I probably shouldn't have a door on this. And this is ugly as sin. I'll try and deal with that concept over time 
mean, it's just cinder blocks. But uh, show me uh, floors again, please. Can I just shove some random floors in here? Uh, that's a roof. What are you? You're a floor. Okay, why don't you go be... Ooh, that's very big though, isn't it? That's, can we can we make that go down? Uh, we can make it go down to there. What are you snapping to that I'm not supposed to be snapping to? Auto stacking. Is that is that what I want? Uh, I don't think I wanted that one. No, no, no. Definitely don't align to water. We don't have any. All right, if I put it at this level, that see that doesn't create a floor. But my my next option is the next one up, and that that's just absurd. That's ridiculous. Okay, back this off. You're getting overly complicated here, so let's just keep this one simple. Okay, why don't you put down some bedding in here for the tortoises and the capybaras? Uh, like that. I don't know how much they need, but that's how much they're getting. There is technically a floor under there, but we're just going to kind of pretend. You know what? It's fine. Everything is fine. We won't see it momentarily. Exit that, please. Yes, make everything go away. So there's what I can only assume is a hard shelter for them. It is ugly as sin. It is, wow, that's just hideous. But maybe, I don't know, maybe the tortoises will be into it, and it's a much smaller enclosure. Now, the capybaras, they love that swimming. So let's go ahead and make a little something for the capybaras here. All of this go down here. Nothing crazy, just a little something. Tortoises apparently don't care. Capybaras, sure into swimming. Let's put this like that. Now, that should be well within range of my water treatment. That should be no problem at all. And I just want to make sure we've got nice short grass around here. If they're into it, so am I, and it actually costs me nothing, so that's really good. Actually, before you spend money, Dave, here's a thought. Why don't you just go get the stuff from the other one and move it over here? There's no suitable species for this food bowl. Yeah, I don't think we have the right stuff for tortoises. They're, they're just not into what I'm, what I'm throwing down here. So, food and water. Um, give me anything and then show me your tags. Uh, do you do you do tortoises? No, you totally do not do tortoises. Who's who's doing tortoises these days, please? Well, this water trough will deal with the Aldabra. How about the Galapagos? Are you guys into that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this will this will help out with wow, it's big. How about the small one? Will that do the same thing? It'll do the same thing, and it's not gigantic. This'll do great for the, the tortoises, they'll, they'll love this, apparently. Good thing we researched all of that stuff. So why don't you uh, be sort of there-ish? Uh, like, like right there. Okay. How about food? What, what, are, what are they into? Okay, this will do the Aldabra and the Galapagos. Okay. So how about there's a just a small food trough? I want to keep this over here so people can see them eating. And by the way, does that do the capybaras? It does. Great, so why don't we put two of these down, just to be on the safe side. Uh, what about the water dish? Does that do capybaras? Are you into capybaras? Uh, talk to me about capybaras. Uh, yeah, you guys are good. Okay, so those things should help both of those animals. All right, in fact, I just kind of turn... Yeah, I can, I can click that, and it'll show me all the things that do that. Well, in that case, show me enrichment. All right, all of these things, the small ball pumpkin. Okay, cool, you can have one of those. You can have one of those. You guys were into the sprinklers. You didn't mind the sprinklers at all. Tortoises may not like it, but the capybaras do. Underwater plant feeder or plant feeder flat. Should I have this? I don't even know what this does, but I'm going to put one in there anyway and hope for the best. Now, what about the Galapagos? What are they? Oh, they like the same things. Okay, they're, they're into the same things. They also like the dog ball. Sure. And this scent marker. Uh, where can we where could we be putting that these days? We put that maybe over by the oh wow, that's an ugly shelter. But you know what? I got it done, and that's better than I usually do with these things. And then of course put in their their popsicle here, the block of frozen fruit. Okay, that's all looking pretty good. I know I could have moved a lot of those things, but you know what? I'll just I'll delete them and you know what? I'll probably just leave them here, maybe for the next animals. Now, i got to move everybody over here. That should be the relatively easy part of the equation. All right, all of you guys are going to get moved over to here. Uh, wait, no path to destination. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? No path? Are you sure? 
No path to destination. Okay, maybe I need to edit that door a little bit. Are you 100% on that one? No path. It's pretty clearly pathed out for you. Okay, I will, I will move the door, I guess. All right, how are you guys feeling about this now? No path to destination. Wait, what? I'm very confused by that. Show me this again. Did I... Okay, maybe did I put the wrong door up or something? Is that... Is that... That sounds like something I would have done. What if... Okay. What if... Ah, what's going on over here? Is this a... A hindrance of some sort? Because this is purple. Purple is bad. Maybe I've made the enclosure invalid by putting this too close to this. Okay, that I can fix. Hang on, I'm going to just rework the barriers here a little bit. So what if we took them out just like a little bit more like this and make sure that that's very, very well clear of, of the thing here. So bring that over to... over to there, over to there. Show me. No, show me, please. No, stop doing. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Um, just do that. Okay, I know it's too short. I'm well aware that it's too short. All right, I'll get rid of this one, too. Can you go... Uh, give me curved ones. Curved ones are easier to work with sometimes. Uh, give me... No, I don't like that. Oh, this has all gone a little bit wonky. All right, let's see if that makes things better. Put this back to glass and put that back to glass. All right. Get out of everything that I'm doing right now and then show me this. Sheet. That is... That's kind of purple, isn't it? This doesn't look right. Can you tell me, please, what the problem is? I know the habitat is empty. I get that. No, nope. no path to destination. No path to destination. Show me, because that's absurd. All right, let's try something different. Um, what if I boxed you all up? Box you guys all up. Okay, put them in storage. And then I'll try and deal with it in there. Um, just for... Wow. I'm very, very confused by that. I'm very confused by that. What if I, what if I did try to move the capybaras instead? Very, very confused by this. Uh, so, um, not them, the capybaras. If I said move all of you guys to here, oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, no, there's ill animals. I know there are. Yeah, that's spot fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, okay, more ill. Okay, um, it's not as fine anymore. It's I'm, I'm actually uh, okay. I get it. I get it, Chief. I get it. We've got sick an- I- Thank you. Okay, any other sick animals you're gonna gut my finances on? Thank you? Um, the capybaras are being moved, which is fun. I think I had to do something very, very simple, like turn the game on. I think that was part of the problem. So let's see if, once again, we can move the tortoises. So all of you guys are getting moved. Over to here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, delivery schedule. Just something as simple as- turn the game on. Anyone else? You can't find a staff room. I can't find any finances. Yes, I know we're low on cash. Everything is terrible. Okay, is there a way we can um, keep the inspector out at all times? Also, don't forget to move that last tortoise. Now, of course, the real problem here is that I needed to put a heater in here. The whole point of me building this at all was to put a heater in there. And I have not done that because now I have no money. Not, not a dime. Actually, I have negative, negative a lot of money. Negative lots and lots of money is what's going on here. You can't find a staff room. What's your problem? Yep, low on cash. Uh, diseased animals. Okay, the skunk is diseased now. Do we have someone going there? Yeah, we have someone on their way. Good thing I uh, hired another intern. I was going to pretty this place up with the right kinds of plants and the heater and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, we're not, not really doing that right now. Not, um... I'm going to be doing that at the moment. Okay, well, I started this episode saying we were going to have to look at loans. Let's look at some loans. I get 20k right now. Now remember, 20k minus the 3,000 that you're in debt right now. 20k would, would hold me for quite a while, he says optimistically. 5k would just kind of be a nice little bridge loan. Just so I can finish what I'm doing in here more than anything. Or just go for insanity with 50,000. It's actually a really good interest rate. 
That's not bad at all for borrowing 50000 although 20000 is only 5% interest. And the inspector's coming again. Neat. Oh, they're already on their way. I've barely even set up this enclosure, and they're already on their way, marching down here as they do. You know, you guys really annoy me. Why don't you go find something more productive to be doing with your day? All right, stop using Starbucks free Wi-Fi and find something more productive to be doing with your day. I don't know, go, go on that TikTok thing that everyone's in favor of. All right, now after all of that nonsense, are you guys any happier? You're still bummed on the hard shelter. I don't know how much harder a shelter I can make for you. I've made you what is effectively a fallout bunker. Like, you can survive the apocalypse in this thing. You're telling me I can't squeeze four tortoises in there. Is that what you're telling me? You're telling me I can't squeeze four tortoises inside of there. Also, when are my capybaras getting here? Uh, that's a lot to do. Yes, there's no staff room. Uh, has been in the box. I'm sorry. Why are you still in a box, Jose? Oh my god, with the freaking staff room with you people. Show me my staff room. Can I increase the capacity of it? Uh, enter. No, I don't want to edit the group. Uh, just show me this. Can I get more people in here? Oh, right. You've got little perks, too. Hang on. Slow it down. Yeah, I was looking at these over in Planet Coaster, so they get little perks going in here. Now, can I just increase flat out how many people can fit in here? I don't see that. Uh, guess they interact with happier, recover energy faster, better detection ranges, learn more about their job, bring their training date forward, gain happiness. This is the really the one I want against being overworked. 100 per year. Yeah, sure. Put that perk in there. All right. Um, I need money. Like now. Like now. I'd, I just wanted to move the tortoises. That's all I wanted to do today. That dumb inspector with his, oh no, all your animals are dying of diseases. This isn't a very good zoo. Please give me all of your money. Yeah, he had to show up. I think, oh, do it. There, it's done. Okay, there, you've done it. You're happier now. Okay, you've done it. Now, over here, speaking of money, let's make sure anyone who does come over here and isn't completely bummed out about life, make sure they can give us some money. All right, all the capybaras are finally being moved over. You're just going to have to cope, guys. What else is going on here? Uh, edu educational item placed too far away. Oh, yeah, because we don't do that anymore over here. You're right. Um, why don't I move that while I'm here? All right, so put that over there. In fact, let me... Let me just bop back and forth here and move a lot of this stuff over here. So the tortoise thing here, we're going to move that. I might want to set that to capybaras or something. Yeah, let me just uh, fidget a little bit here, move some things around. And let's make sure we get up some donation boxes over here. I'm going to leave the other donation boxes over at the other habitat uh, for the sole reason that I want people to give us money. So, uh, you know, those can live over there. Could put something over here. And I move the, the talking point here, the talking box, and I realize now this little bit here, that's perfect for one of those talk things. That would actually make total sense right here. So in fact, why don't we do two of those? Put like one side by side right there. All right, now do I have to? I bet I do. Do I have to reset all of this? I bet you that's the thing. So well, obviously I have to set these because these are brand new. But this can get linked to that, confirm that. And then this can get also linked to that, confirm that, and confirm that. Now, are you still set on capybaras? Yeah, you are. Okay, and we do that talk in March, so ways to go on that. But that's a great place for that, right in front of the capybaras. And I'll try and pretty that up later with the minimal amount of money that I don't actually even own later. Let's finish out with trying to decorate this place a little bit. And the question for the comments is going to be this whole hard space issue, this whole hard shelter thing, because I don't know how much harder a shelter I can make for these people. And they're saying it's critically undersized. So do I actually have to use the, um, the things from the habitat thing, the actual literal hard shelters? Because I guess maybe I can't make my own. Maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe I just can't create one. I feel I probably could, though. I mean, in the real world, if I owned a zoo, uh, which apparently, the fact that we have skunks and raccoons, apparently my backyard is technically a zoo. Um, why can I not just build my own facility there, if you will? Oh, that's fun. Oh, yeah, get me one of them. Uh, it's not as fun. I want it to be bigger. Eh, it's okay. I'll put it over here. Um, and then, I don't know, some of these century plants. These are all, these should appeal, even though I've got it clicked on the, the tortoises, 
These should appeal to the capybaras too, because they kind of come from the same part of the world, I think. I don't know. What the heck do I know? I don't know what a hard shelter is, apparently. <clears throat> Ooh, they got mangroves. Oh, I like these trees, because their roots like go way down into the water like that. Oh, yeah, we're doing some of those. Uh, can I get another one? Like here? Okay. How are you guys feeling about that? Are you better? Uh, cleanliness, terrain, uh, still only at 65%. Uh, you know what, Dave? Turn the game on, because that sometimes makes things figure themselves out. Nope, they still hate the place. Okay, super. Now, the next thing we got to get over here is food, drink, souvenirs, and toilets. Yes, I know. It's all about the animals. I get that part. I will deal with your staff room issue soon enough. Just stop. Stop with the staff room thing. But we also got to get places for people to spend their money because I just took out a $20,000 loan and I have no real ability to pay that back. So we've got to get food, water, drinks, whatever, souvenirs. I need to pretty this up because I'd like all of those food and drink things to go right along here. That would really pull people down here. And then I got to figure out what's going to live in the old environment. It's already set up. It would be frankly dumb not to fill it with some kind of animal. And figure out what the heck the problem is with the hard shelter. That is my, that's my key comment for comments. What is it going to take for these tortoises to be happy? What is your problem? If it's about a staff, it's about a staff room. Al, Al, I will fire you so fast. I don't know how to make the tortoises happy, but I'm going to put up a, a speaker for them. And just, I don't know, I'm not even sure they have ears. I'm genuinely not. I don't actually know if tortoises have ears. Uh, but just in case... Everybody go away. Just in case they do, I'm going to put up a little tune for them here. Uh, crickets? Would they maybe like insects of the jungle? That sounds terrifying. That sounds like a horror movie. How about rainforest? You know what? Keep it simple. Rainforest. Everybody loves rainforest. You're going to the store. You're going to Walmart, Walmart or Target or something like that. And you're looking for one of those like environmental sounds things to help you not freak out on your day to day life. Like you're going to actually take up meditating like you're really going to do it. You're going to do it for like a day, but you're going to get one of those like environmental help me not freak out on my day to day life CDs. If they still make CDs anymore, I'm not really sure. You're definitely getting rainforest. You're going rainforest. You're going to, oh, that's going to be so peaceful. And then you realize it just sort of sounds like rain all the time. And I guess that's vaguely relaxing. And then the next day you're going to be like, ah, this meditating thing is for the birds. I think that is an excellent place to call it on Planet Zoo for today. I got some of the things done that I wanted to get done. We've dealt with water. Okay, the water is clean. I've obviously got to pretty all of that stuff up. Otherwise, the guests are going to hate it. I've moved the tortoises to a smaller enclosure so they don't starve to death walking to their food. And it also just makes more sense. They're not really even big animals. This size enclosure, I think, is going to be hopefully okay for them. What we haven't figured out is what they consider a hard shelter. So I need to peek deeply into a tortoise's mind and find out what it considers to be a hard shelter. Because apparently this hard shelter ain't hard enough for a tortoise. So guys, we will pick up some more of Planet Zoo again next time. Can't say it enough. Please keep those comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of Planet Zoo. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. But maybe we close the door during a zombie apocalypse, Cinnamon, huh? It's just basic security technique. If the door is closed, Cinnamon, Cinnamon, the zombies are going to have to work harder to get in. No what you've done you. is put up a big sign on the top of your roof here that says, Hey, zombies, this way for food. All right, is there an actual fire? Or are you just telling me that fire is a thing that exists? Because I'm very familiar with that. Fire loves me, and it wants to be near me at all times. And I'm pretty sure they're trying to beat him to death with a baguette, which is less effective than you might commonly think it would be. I have created epic fruitcake. Those words have never been uttered in the entirety of human history. That sentence has never come together. I have made epic fruitcake.